Hey guys and welcome to update 7.3 of MMFPSE. For this update we actually have two pretty large features, one of them being a surprise that we'll get to later. But let's start with the main features, which is actually the long-awaited single-player and co-op interface. So in the base kit, as you can see, the single-player and co-op buttons are now actually available and don't just disable themselves. Um, we have a game mode called Sandbox which is actually not really a game mode, you just spawn and walk around and shoot things. It's intended as a starting point to create your own single player or co-op game mode. Uh, so yeah, so as you can see we just spawned. There are no multiplayer features here, no scoreboard and stuff, you know. And when we actually die we just respawn indefinitely. Like I said, this is intended as a starting point for your own single player or co-op game modes. But don't worry, we actually have uh, co-op and single player game modes coming as add-ons. We choose to do them as add-ons so that we don't have to increase the price of the base kit. The first one will be a game mode similar to Call of Duty Zombies, but we'll make a dedicated video on that one. It's almost done. Just a few more things that we need to replace and then it's ready for release. So let's just demonstrate the by fall damage. And once the camera is over, we just respawn. So yeah, that's a single player. And let's actually start co-op. You know, it's the same kind of menu. You select the game mode here. And of course, you have bros games and host games. We're actually going to host the game. Oh yeah, this is a pretty similar menu. Here you can select the map. And up here, these are the players that joined. I actually have a client open right here, which we will use to join. So you can see it has its own room browser and just start the game. Of course co-op games don't show up in the main browser for PvP game modes. So yeah, this is the, the same game mode, there's not actually anything to do here. Like I said, this is a starting point for creating your own game modes. Friendly players, I mean in co-op all players are friendly by, you know, by design. Also have the markings over their head, no. The rest is pretty much the same as the base kit. So let's actually get to the surprise that I've mentioned. For that we actually have to switch versions. Because it's an integration for Exola. If you haven't heard of Exola, you can look it up real quick. Well, to put it quickly, it's a, you know, complete um, store solution for your game. You know, I just demonstrate it real quick. I'll just log in here, you know, has a full login register um, screens and you can actually even log in and sign up with social media logins. You know, there's a shit ton of social media logins available. Um, by default, we have set up um, Discord, Steam and Twitter, but you know, there's tons more Facebook, Google, anything. Yeah. I actually put in the wrong password. That's great. No wait, let, let's actually just sign up real quick. Put in the email, some random username. Click register. So now I've registered. Just have to wait until the email arrives so that we can you know confirm our registration which should arrive any minute should I drag this over here you can already go back to this screen username it's not Confirmed yet, but actually we can look what happens when we log in. It actually says that our account isn't confirmed yet So we have to wait until the email arrives Which should be any minute now So in the meantime, I'll talk about some of the other features, you know, it's a complete uh, store solution You know we can purchase Weapons, player models. I, I shot at it a bit once. 
the account is confirmed. Yep, there's a lock confirmation email. You know, this is just because of this service. It doesn't actually look that way. We didn't know Google Mail or something. So now that our account is confirmed, we can log in. And you will see why I actually choose to create a new account. So that I can actually show you how to purchase things. You know, this is the, the loadout that comes with the integration. I'll make a whole uh, tutorial video on uh, how to set it up correctly. It's pretty easy, but and I've already written the documentation, but I feel like a video is necessary for this one. So as you can see, with the bar equipped, because it's configured as our starting equipment, we need the starting equipment for every slot. We can actually, you know, buy other weapons here. You can choose which currency you want to use. There's also a virtual currency, which we can buy up here. Just go back. Also, don't mind the images. I just put some random images there. Um, you can configure this in the Exola dashboard. More on that in the tutorial video. But yeah, we can click buy this now. And allow your firewall uh, to let the program go through. Oh, this is actually completely from Exola. This is how it looks. You can choose uh, various payment methods here. I just choose PayPal because it's configured in sandbox mode. We don't actually buy anything here. So just continue buying. And now we've bought the, the sniper. You know, as you can see, the bar says starting gear. We can equip these. And you know, this is discount that's configured in the Exola dashboard. All the Exola features work in this integration. Like, like I mentioned, virtual currency, real currency, discounts, bundles. Here we can buy this bundle is actually configured to um, buy a few weapons, I think. We'll just buy this real quick. Yeah, anyway, let's continue. So, let's go in-game now. This is actually the main menu. Also, the progress is also saved bound to the Exola account. And so are the statistics. So, as you can see, I spawned with the sniper. Because that's what I bought in the menu here. We also have configurable amount of loadouts. And uh, let's actually buy another gun. You yep, now we have the shotgun. Equip that one and respawn. <coughs> and we have the shotgun. I'll just demonstrate the player model real quick. So you know Ethan, you know with colors and Ethan in gray. You know, you already know him. So let's just buy the one without colors. Yep, there he goes. You can see this place play a model for each team down here and you load out here. Let's <coughs> just respawn and there we go. Ethan without colors. So yeah, that's the main features. It's a weapon store, statistics, and we can actually log out here and log back in. I just demonstrate this real quick. It works. I want to actually sign in because I'm already signed in with my Discord account to this. But you know. It's just, we can log in here with our Discord account and then it will actually sign us up with that account, which is pretty cool. And you know, the best thing about it is it's actually free for you. This actually comes shipped with the base kit. Like I said, I'll make a tutorial video on it. It will be in the integrations folder. And by the time this video is released, the documentation will also be already updated. 
So yeah, also let me know what you think about this type of update video if you want to go back to the, you know, no commentary and just plain text on screen type of update video, but I thought I would give this a shot. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next update.